Hey guys, what's up? Alright, so you guys looking at the Caterpillar D10N. This is going to be a review of the model. I got this back in January, um, the end of January. It's a very nice model. I, I like it a lot. Um, a little history on the model. The model, I believe, was made in the earlier 90s. It's made by Norscott. Um, yeah, it's made by Norscott. Uh, I believe in the earlier 90s. Uh, it's discontinued, which just means not made anymore, but I'm sure everybody knew that. Um, it's a quality made model. The casting on it's really nice. There's not a, a well, a whole lot of obviously moving parts. It is a, it, it is a dozer, but um, it's just basic functions. But the model is very nice, and I like it a lot. It's fairly big, too. But, alright, so let's get started with the movement. The blade raises all the way up and that's as far as it goes down mine's a little loose uh, I want to stiffen it but I haven't got a chance to it yet Can't chance to do it yet um, tracks they do roll but I kind of keep them in the position that they are just because they are rubber and uh, I do I would like to eventually get metal tracks for them uh, and then switch them off and have the metal ones on it, it would look a lot better, but for now, it, I like the way it looks, it's not bad, I'm not complaining. Um, plastic on this model is, is, is honestly not that much, which, in one way, they could have put more and add a little more detail to it, and in another, it's nice, because everybody likes metal, obviously. So, the blade is nice and wide, um, for the model. You got some, uh, bolt detail on it. Going across. Focus. There, you see the bolt detail on it, which is very nice. Again, the casting on this model is very nice, um, but not a whole lot of detail, which I'll get into. Um, in front of it, you see it says Caterpillar up there. What I don't understand is how, why the blade is back here, which um, just kind of looks really weird. But then under it, it's just the whole casting part. So it's just the way they ended up casting it, um, as you can see. So they didn't really cover up the way they cast it. Like they could have fixed that a little more and did it a little different. But it, it is one of their earlier models, which is, it, I still like it because it is the older one. Um, I added some personal um, dealer decals on it, but nothing. Uh, so I'll just point those out as I go along. This is painted in, or, or decaled onto it, uh, D10N, as you see. The cat logo, the front cat logo, the back, and the other side are all um, stickers that they put on. They're not actual uh, decals that are printed on. They're just stickers. Um, which I think they could have done a little better with that, but people are wondering it's maybe not be accurate. I know, um, I, I, I'm assuming the different series or something like that. I know the D10N could be here and the cat could be here, but they're vice versa on this one. So they could be changed, I know. Um, see where on the actual blade here, where you could, uh, it could be ch like changed or would move. Right there. You see these up here, which is basically just for the dirt, so or material, or whatever you're pushing, so that it'll kind of spread right around and won't go uh, hit the cylinders to damage them. The blade is very nice, so the casting on it's very nice. Again, move on to the tracks. Not a whole lot of detail, but just really casting detail is the most on this model, more than anything else. Sorry, it's not really focusing. There we go. As you see, they are simulated rollers. They are not... Um, they don't go any farther. They're uh, just like that. But this is one of the decals I uh, added onto it. Uh, not a lot of engine detail. Well, there really isn't. It's just 
again, in the casting of the entire piece. This is a rough texture. You guys can hear that. It's supposed to, I'm assuming it's supposed to be like a little can or compartment or something on the top. I'm not really sure. Nothing's really color-coded or whatever. Not even, not that, but I mean like, um, everything's just cast into it, basically. It's not, not, not much more to say. Exhaust stack and air cleaner. Those are plastic. Not bad. Um, dry sprocket. Plastic. Wheels are plastic. Idlers are plastic. And the dry sprocket's plastic. Not too bad. Some detail on it. Some bolt detail and stuff like that. Um, inside the cab, not too much. Um, really there isn't. There's one insert, it's somewhat kind of a nice mold insert, but not really that good. It's just a brown seat. Uh, if you guys could kind of see that. It's just a brown seat. It was tilted, offset a little bit. It's not bad, but for the older model I do like it. This is the cab protector on it. The actual cab, which is nice. There's the rear of it. I also have that, and this is obviously came on it. These are simulated lights on the back, which are nicely casted into it. And then uh, the engine here, part of it, which is all casted. Uh, and a little hitch. It's drilled through. I'd like to... Actually, I'd like to find another one and do it to a forestry thing. And um, I know mostly D8s are, but I'd like to make it to some kind of a forestry idea and, and have ROPs on it and put like a winch on the back to kind of just get rid of the, the hook or put a better uh, looking back on it. Or I might just put a winch on just to look cool. I'm not really sure. That's the back side. This side's pretty much the same as the other. Not a whole lot different, just this side piece here. Which really isn't too much different. Again, everything's just cast into it. But Underside of it is nice. Two holes there for the screws that basically hold the entire piece together. And that's really it. Not a whole lot of detail. But otherwise, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, on the review of the D10N. I'll get a D11R to do one quick comparison. So, here are the two. Obviously, the D11R is uh, substantially bigger, but not by a whole lot, being they're not too far off in weight. Just the blade is quite larger. The body is not as much. You can tell the difference, but not quite as much as the blades, obviously. The sides. See the ripper on the D11. The back. The D11 has a lot more detail due to the age is a lot newer uh, than the D10 was made. So they put a little more effort into it, I guess you could say. side but otherwise there was the review of the Norscott Caterpillar D10N thanks guys rate comment subscribe if you haven't already